Do I support fast fashion? I admit it. What is your fitness routine? It looks like this right now. I can move it from side to side. Hello, what's up everyone? It's Karina and today I am in a different spot in my room. Looking back at my channel, I cannot believe I've only done two or three get ready with me videos. I thought it might be a good change from all the fashion hauls that I've been doing because you can't really like, you know, know me on the up close and personal. Quite a few of you left me some comments in my previous fashion videos, questions about plastic surgery, my nose, fitness routine, what I think about fast fashion. So I'm going to be answering all these questions in this video while I put on my face in front of you guys. So this is my bare face. I promise you guys, it looks much better on the camera than it does in person. I don't know if you can tell, but I've had like these little tiny bumps, mostly along the jawline and the outer edges of my face. But yeah, not in the best condition. I'm gonna start out with the Too Faced foundation. It's really good coverage and it doesn't break me out, so. It's a win for me. Oh, and also I have an announcement. I make it sound like it's such a big deal, but it's really not. I recently just started to do TikTok videos. So yeah, I've been playing around with TikTok for I think like over the past 24 hours and I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of feel like a grandma learning to skateboard for the first time. So yeah, if you want to see me make a fool of myself on there, follow me. Here is my TikTok handle. Oh my, wow, I look like a ghost. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my $2 drugstore <laughs> eyebrow pencil. So amazing for my sparse eyebrows. I don't really know why people pay like so much for eyebrow pencil. A question that everyone is asking me is what is your fitness routine? I'm not going to the gym right now because of the quarantine situation going on. And I have thought about filming a workout routine at home for you guys, but Honestly, it's just going to be an identical video to Pamela Reef's videos because that's who I watch all the time. I'll be linking her videos down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Whenever I'm working out to her videos, I feel like dying and swearing in the middle. But yeah, as soon as I'm done, like I'll take that caramel popcorn now. TBH, I'm not doing the best job at it. Going into quarantine, I'm all like, I'm gonna get a six pack and I'm gonna save so much money. I'm gonna come out like a changed woman. But no, the reality is I have probably gained a couple of pounds. My bank account's not very happy with me. I think it's been six months since I had a rhinoplasty done in Korea. If you haven't watched that yet, if you're in shock right now, make sure you check the link in the description box. I will be linking my whole journey there, including my whole experience, how much everything was, and how things are healing. I've hit the six month mark for my nose, and it looks like this right now. I'm just gonna go in with my contouring brush and do the tips of my nose. Now, as you can see, I can move it from side to side no problem at all and the tip still feels hard and stiff but it's not as numb as the first couple of months in terms of like other daily activities where you need to i don't know use your nose besides breathing um you can't pick your nose so yeah if you like to stick your finger up your nose and pick at it then you will not be able to do that do you want cilantro yeah i want uh, cilantro i know you do but a whole fist <laughs> I'm gonna go in with falsies next. While we're doing this, let's talk about fast fashion. There is not a single YouTuber out there that can say with confidence in public that they support fast fashion. You just can't say that. You're not allowed to say that. But for someone who firsthand does a lot of fast fashion hauls, like I admit it, is fast fashion bad for the environment? Absolutely. I'm usually someone who thinks about issues from a various different points of perspective. From the perspective of the world, there are a shitload of problems. Yes, the environment's one of it, but so is sex trafficking, so is poverty, so is hunger, homelessness, racism, homophobia, bullying. And that's just a few that come to the top of my head. If you're passionate about helping out with some of these issues, great. And if others are not on the same track as you, that's okay. It's not everyone's job. And quite frankly, it's impossible for everyone to be trying to save everything that's wrong on the planet. What we can do is to be grateful and thank the person who is trying to do their part to help. So many ways that you can reduce your carbon footprint. I am contributing in my own way. So yes, I do feature a lot of fast fashion brands on my channel, but that is because it's primarily my job. My job is to stay home 
and try on clothes for you guys. I probably use the car or the public transit or even flights way, way less than your average businessman. But I don't use plastic straws. I am super, super anal when it comes to recycling. Okay, this is dry now. Ta-da, one lash is on. See the difference, oh my God. Next flurry of questions. Are slash were you a model? I'm a model role model what do you do with all the clothes you buy for your videos do you keep them all after filming after i film i put all of my clothes in a pile and from that pile i pick which ones i want to keep in my closet and which ones i want to donate or sell on my blog so if you're ever interested in purchasing something from my own closet or something that i just wore for like one minute on youtube feel free to hop onto my blog i'll be linking it down below i usually have closet sales every season i think i'll be doing another one right as the quarantine ends and then once that's done i usually round up a huge bag of clothes for donation which reminds me i have about like 10 full garbage bag sizes of clothing for donation onto my lips i'm I'm using Max Velvet Teddy. I actually had this for like close to 10 years now and it's still the best shade for me. Definitely recommend it to everyone who's into that no way cut and cut look. What brand of clothes is your favorite? Why? Do you recommend a particular brand for the best quality slash price combination, especially for students or newly graduated? people i don't think i'm more into a brand versus the specific type of clothing that i'm looking for that being said i'm definitely recommending shein to those of you who are either on a budget or looking to revamp their closet because you can definitely pick up a lot of gems on shein but you gotta be careful you know you gotta like watch reviews and hauls ideally mine and you also have to look at the reviews on the site because a lot of reviews don't have pictures so it's hard to see what the clothing look like in real life on a human don't just blindly buy something because it looks nice on the model and it has like zero reviews because that is my job to read it for you guys before you guys buy it okay don't waste your money on stuff like that only only buy something on shein if you have seen the real thing somewhere either on a youtube video or on tiktok or on ig or like whatever okay guys so my makeup is now done and shirley actually asked what products and hair curler do you use i'm gonna show you guys Oops. This is the hair curler that I've been using for ages. This is detachable. And if you buy the set, it comes with like all different kinds of sizes of wands that you can reattach to this base here. What I really like about this is that it creates really soft, loose curls that I really like. Okay, thank you so much guys for watching and getting ready with me. If you have more questions for me, make sure to leave it in the comments down below and I will be sure to address it in the next get ready with me video. As always, stay happy and I love you all. Bye.